Have you done? Just about. I hope this isn't going to happen on the day, Vinny. It'll be fine. Hasn't changed much in seven years. Let's hope they've forgotten about us. <laughs> I doubt it. and keep it on at all times. Be prepared. Come on, you two. Come on. Will you say excuse me to that man? Sorry. Girls, come on, hurry up. I'll find my way back. How are you then, Dermot? Hello, Mr. Dayton. Hop in. Sergeant Blaketon, how are you this morning? I'm lying here like a sitting duck. The target of every well-meaning do-gooder in the district. Thank you. No peace whatsoever. I'll pop back later when it's finished. Uh, Maggie, visiting time is two to five. Sorry? When you heard what the gentleman said, you want a bit of peace and quiet. Naturally, I am aware of that. Jolly good. Neil, don't play the arrogant doctor with me, not in this hospital. Sorry. You reckon he's ready for out, then? Champing at the bit. You think he'd be looking to take his foot off the pedal? Some people are impervious to warnings. When did you get yours then, Alf? Less of that. Good morning, lads. Only just. You have to go out to Elsenby. There's some tack missing at Willow Farm. So it's that time of the year again. Horse fair. Horses? Big problem round here, are they? Oh, it's a magnet for every rogue and vagabond in the north. Oh, great. Well, I'll uh, better go show them what's what then, eh? So, when am I getting out, Doctor? Don't be in too much of a hurry, Sergeant. But I've got things to clear up at the station. I'm not retiring for a few months yet, you know. I'm afraid you won't be going back. All right. We've done some tests. As a result, we're recommending that you do not return to active duty for medical reasons. What medical reasons? There's a risk of a further attack if you're put under stress. I understand your sick leave is due to continue until your retirement date. But they haven't appointed my successor yet. I want you to be there. Hand over. See him in place. I am sorry.
He's not in. How do, Claude? What can I do for you, Mr. Stokes? Got a bit of a problem you might be able to help me with. Oh, what sort of a problem's that, then? I want to buy my girlfriend an horse. Oh, it's going to be a problem. It's the horse fair on Thursday. I know it is, but I can't big, can I? Not with my father being the auctioneer. Besides, I don't want him to know. Well, where do I come in? I want you to bid for me. I'll point the horse out and give you the money. Will you? I don't come cheap, you know. I'll see you right. You certainly will. What's the hold up? Problems. Don't think she wants to let us on a field. I think you're right. <coughs> right. Bit of a snag, girls. The farm's changed hands since I was here last. And this farmer doesn't want us to camp. So what are we going to do? Well, we'll have to find somewhere else. There must be lots more places around here, eh? This way, girls. Come on. Put your hats on. Where's Oscar Blaketon? I'm sorry? Sergeant Blaketon. Well, he's off sick. Who's in charge, then? They've never left you in charge, have they, Alf Ventress? What's the problem, Jean? The Daytons are back. The Daytons? How do you know? I've seen them large as life. I don't know how they have the nerve. I want something done about it. We'll deal with it. Like they did the last time. I said we'd deal with it, Jean. You better, or I'll form division, right? Who is that? Jean Clark. Her husband was a copper here. And who are the Daytons? Tinkers. Thieves, scum of the earth. Seven years ago, John Clark caught them nicking things from parked cars at Thirst Racecourse, and they beat him up. Didn't they get down for it? No, we couldn't hang it on them. It was them, though. We knew it, and they knew it. Oh, sounds like we should keep an eye out for them, then. I want you to do more than that. I want to find out where they're hanging out. They used to have a place over at uh, Cross Winds. Do you want me uh, to go up there on my bike? Yes. See how many there are and what they're doing. That's the one. Big fellow out in front. What's it called? Anwick Flyer. Have you got an interested party? In Ireland, you pay good money for it. Tough work. And we can take him any time you like. <laughs> oh, yeah. The cops would be on to us straight away. Oh, I know a horse like him. We can substitute the one for the other. He'll be gone before they find out. And when can you get this substitute? He's coming up for sale at the fair. We get him cheap, swap them over, make a run to the Liverpool ferry. You'll be in Ireland counting your money before they find out. See that. We were looking for Aidensville, but uh, are we going in the right direction? Oh. No, no, it's, it's three miles back the other way. Is it? Oh. We were due to be camping at Farmer Mackenzie's, but. Uh, Mackenzie's? He's, he's, he's flitted. He's, he's gone somewhere near Scarborough. Yeah, so I'm told. Oh. Do you know the place we can go? Uh, I, I might. We can pay. Can you? All right, I'll, 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 I think I can sort you out. Tell them to get in. I found them, Alf. They're in Aidensfield. There seems to be a couple of kids and some women selling pegs. Do you want me to move them on? Stay there. I'm on my way. I can handle it. I know you can handle it, but I'd rather you wait it for me. Just hang on a minute, hang on, hang on, let me get this room done. Jump in the back right now, you can. Be careful. Is this it? Well, uh, don't worry about it looking a bit untidy. I like to keep it looking a bit natural, you know, because it's a working farm, but don't worry, you'll, you'll enjoy yourself. What about facilities? It's around the back. <laughs> no, no, I, I was asking about water. Oh, oh see so what you mean? Oh, there's a pump. Pump? 
food? Oh, uh, well, that's no problem. I'll let you have some eggs straight from the chickens and, uh. and I can get you some milk and, and, and uh, Alfred will probably get you the odd rabbit or two. I'll, I'll get you a nice big sharp knife. It's great. Can we stay? I'm not skinning a rabbit. What, well, Don't eat rabbit. Uh, no, don't worry about it. Will you have a word with him, will you? Are you in control or not? Look, he right, Heather. Ma'am, sir. Wait, Heather. Huh? Wait, Heather. Come on, let's clear this front. Free for me. Right, I'm sending for the police. It's a free country. Not if you're blocking the road, it isn't, Dayton. Well, look who's here. I thought you'd been pensioned off. Well, you thought wrong, didn't you? Let's get this lot on its way. We've not got what we came for yet, Constable Ventress. Well, I'll have to arrest you for obstructing the highway. Are there enough of you here to do that? If that's the way you want it, yes. Leave him! You better go. You might be right. I'd hate to see a public brawl. Come on! Time to go! Nice to see you again, Constable Ventress. I don't want to see no, you. I've come to apologise. What for? Existing. For today at the hospital. Oh, that. For treating me like dirt in front of all and sundry. Fine, OK. Apology accepted. No. Neil, I really, really do not want to see you. Look, OK, bye. By some weird fluke, he got this job at Ashfordley. The only way we can make it work is by steering clear of each other. It wasn't a fluke. What do you mean? I came here on purpose. I wanted to be near you. I need to talk, Maggie. Again. Please. Come on. I've got some more wood, Hannah. Is that a fire? It is. We're cooking our evening meal. <gasps> they're burning my fence in. No, they're not. It's just a pile of old wood. It might be a pile of old wood to you. That's chestnut palings, that is. We've got the eggs, Lieutenant. Oh, well done, Kathy. What eggs? Well, you said we could have eggs. I didn't mean for you to help yourself. Look, they let all my chickens out. Oh, Kathy, what have I told you about closing gates? Here, take this. Go and put our fire out while I get these. Help him, girls. Help Mr. Greengrass. Sorry. She's going to be so angry. Girls, get them down here, will you? I thought you were supposed to be girls' guide. Come on. Okay, so you need to talk. <coughs> right, fire away. Goodness knows what about. We didn't have very much to say to each other four years ago. You know very well what about. Not that, Neil. I'm not talking about that. No, and you never would, would you? It's there between us, Maggie. I thought I could just walk away. Go abroad, but it hasn't worked. I can't get it out of my head. I can't get on with my life, Maggie. Oh. 
past is the past, Neil. You've got to let it go. I've moved on. I'm happy now. No, you're not. You're skating on thin ice. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. One false move and you'll go under. I'm fine. You're just the same. The same hard, brittle Maggie, never letting herself think. Just like you were four years ago. Let go of me. You're not happy. Please, I don't want this conversation. Look at it. Face it. Let's at least try and talk about it. Sarge. Sarge? Oh, hello, Elf. How are you getting on? Well, uh, I'm coming out day after tomorrow. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Out and not back. I've been finished. They're keeping me on sick leave until the date of my retirement. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it's a bit of a shock. Well, I'd hope to end it on a different note. Anyway, I'll be in. Clear my desk. Uh, actually, uh, Sarge, if you don't mind, uh, something's cropped up. I need your advice. Well, what is it? The Dayton's are back. You're not serious. Yes, Sarge. Some people have more neck than a giraffe. Have you worn the clerks? Jean was in first thing. Have you back for a reason? Well, there's a race meeting at Thirsk on Saturday. Maybe they're planning another raid. That's what I thought. Well, you keep on top of them. They'll expect it, but they won't like it. Yes, Sarge. Where did you do it, Neil? Why did you leave me just when I needed you most? Because I couldn't stand your silence. I couldn't cope any other way. So you cut me out? There wasn't anything left to say. There was everything left to say. You didn't tell me how you felt. Wasn't it obvious? Not to me. And so you just walked out on me. I'm sorry. How do you think I felt all those years on my own? Looking after other people's babies, toddlers, thinking. It would have been three now, or four. Starting school, I don't want to be saying all this. Maybe if you hadn't hidden it, it wouldn't be so raw. By the time I was ready to talk, you'd gone. Have you talked to anyone else? No. I've known other babies die in the same way since. All of a sudden in their cots. I've helped the parents. But you didn't tell them about us. No, nobody round here knows, and I don't want them to, Neil. Right, uh, have we done that, then? Do we feel better now? Maybe. It's too late, Neil. Didn't bring us any closer at the time. I don't think we can comfort each other now. You're hard, Maggie. I have to be. Was it our fault?
What do you want, Alf? I'd like to have a word with John. Why? Well, it's just passing. I thought I'd call in. So, you've got a guilty conscience after all these years. It's not that. You know I wish it hadn't happened. Well, I couldn't have stopped it even if I'd been there. You could have tried. At the least, you could have nailed them. I just want John to know that we're keeping a close watch on the Daytons whilst they're on our patch. A close watch? Yes. My husband had a career, a future. He was going places. One day he took a risk and it was all snatched away from him. Look at him now. He's a wreck. So don't you think you can come round here with your boots shined and your promises and think that it's quits? Because it isn't. It'll never be. Not until the Daytons are caught and sent down. When you've done that, then you can come calling. Don't be so miserable. What do you think? You did very well. When does it come up? This afternoon. I've seen the awesome one. He's black called Stormbreaker. Oh, well, look at that. You pointed out when it comes in. I can't go in there. My father will see me. Here's the cash. Oh. Are you sure this will be enough? I want some change out of that. Yeah, oh, well, I'd better take my commission out before I start then. Hold on. Oh, look, I better get going because I'll be starting and I'll probably miss it at 12. <laughs> what were he called, Yos? Stormbreaker. Well, Greengrass is here. Aye, so he is. Well, it's his kind of place. How's that? Well, I'd say on top of horse dealing, there's a bit of this and that. And the one thing that Claude's not averse to is a little bit of either. There they are. Oh, I've got them. The other fella. Uh, Dermot O'Kane. He's nobbled a few horses in his time. Now, you keep an eye on him and I'll stick with Pa and Vinnie and watch out for which horses they're interested in. Perhaps they're not here for first races, after all. Stonebreaker. Fifty and a half hands. Some form. Place you Toxiter and Southern. Do I hear 25 guineas? 30. Dayton's bidding. Do we have 35? 33. 40. Why is Dayton bidding for an overpriced nag? 41. 45. 46. 50! Come on. No. 51? Any advance on 51? <laughs> Going once? Going twice? The cops are taking an interest. Sold to Claude Jeremiah Greengrass. Cash only. Something's going on. Claude was bidding for some bloke down at the entrance. Yeah, I know him. You do? He's very shifty to me. Well, so would you? Have you just given Claude Greengrass some money and the auctioneer was your father? What puzzles me is why did Dayton bid? Good man. Better get the horse back before he sells it on. Do you have an address? I know where green grass lives. Right. Do it tonight. And no cock-ups. Oh, I can't see, Lucy. You haven't cut me eyes. You're gonna have to take it off and start again. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Maggie. Hello, everybody. Hello. Looks like you could do with some help. <laughs> this is Nurse Bolton, girls. She's very kindly agreed to come and help us with our first aid. So, uh, where are you from? York, miss. Right, well, uh, the sort of things that happen in the country can be quite a bit different to the sort of things that happen in a city like York. What sort of things? Oh. Uh, fewer scolds and more snake bites for a start. 
So let me start by showing you how to splint a broken leg. Then we'll learn how to make a sling, and then you can make me a cup of tea. <laughs> Have you got anything for air fever? Silver sheep and in your rusty scabbard now, the sand has taken some. And though your jewel and crusty blade has not been plundered still, the sea has washed across your face, taken of its fill. Just like you said. Great. We just have to wait. They won't do it until after dark. What's up? You've got visitors. I can see that. We didn't put them lights out. What, what are you doing here? Shh. There's two men creeping around outside. How do you know? They've gone into the stables. Um, well, yeah, yeah, go outside for a minute. Stay back, OK. What on earth do you think you're playing at? Well... <laughs> Come back. Come back! Will somebody tell me what's going on? If you'd have kept your mouth shut, we might have found out. Where's Vinny? He's coming out of him behind. They're waiting for us. Who? Greengrass! Some kids. Must have heard us. Look what I found! How did he get here? There'll be a car nearby. Seamus. Yes. 
Mr. Bradley, you're just in time. Yeah, have that one. Oh, great. Cheers, mate. What? Alf not in, then? Not yet. He's making the most of Blayton's absence. <sighs> Quiet night, then, was it? Yes. Occasional perk of rural policing. Here we go. Hello? Ashfordley Police? Who? It's Mrs Ventress. Come on! Let me out! Shut it! Dayton! I'm warning you! Teddy, I like that and we'll put a gag on you. I want a drink. Get him one. What time is it? What's that to you? Well, my shift starts at nine. <laughs> well, you've missed it. Well, they come out looking for me. No, they won't. I remember you from the old days. They'll think you've gone AWOL. Untie me. I can't drink like this. Suit yourself. What do we do with them? Take them with us. Dump them when we're safely out of the country. Fix them a gag. I don't want them shouting at us all day. No. No, Mrs. Ventress. Not been home all night. Where did you leave him yesterday? He was keeping an eye on the Daytons. Is his car outside? Well, I didn't notice. What's happened to him? Morning, Bellamy. Bradley. Sarge. Morning, Sarge. What's going on? Uh, well, Alf's gone missing and uh, he hasn't been home all night and the car's not been returned. Well, are you trying to get him on his radio? Well, that might be a useful first step, don't you think? Yes, I do. Still not answering, Sarge. Where is last known whereabouts? Well, PC Ventress and I were at the horse fair yesterday watching the Daytons. He stayed with them afterwards. And that was the last contact, was it? No. He called at seven, said he was parked outside the Black Dog in Elsenby. He was waiting for the Daytons to come out. There seems to be some sort of history there, Sarge. You've met Gene Clark, have you? Damn right. Well, Ventris was on duty with the clerk the day he was attacked, although he wasn't there when it happened. He's always felt badly about that. Why? Well, it was suggested that he was out placing bets at the time. He denied it, and it was never pursued. Either way, he's got it in for the Daytons. He feels he owes it to John. Uh, I want to report a theft. Theft of what, precisely, Greengrass? I thought we'd seen the last of you. An os. Fifteen hands. It's a blacken called Stonebreaker. Isn't that the horse you uh, bought yesterday, Mr. Greengrass? Not been here long, but it don't miss much, does it? The Daytons were bidding for it too, Sarge. Oh, I've seen them off, though, didn't I? They seemed very keen to get their hands on it. PC Ventress was wondering why they wanted it so much. Yeah, so did I. As a matter of fact, I think it's them that's nicked it. Well, it seems the Daytons may have the answers to a good many questions. The sooner you two get out there, the better. I'll mind the shop. Yeah, but Sarge, I thought you were supposed Never to... Never mind that, Bellamy. Don't go too fast, Maddie. And stay in the marked area. Good luck. Ready? Uh... Off you go. Right, let's warm up. Out, in, out, in. Where are the men? They're walking. Where? On the road. Well, we'll take a look around then. Help yourself. This is the test of your skills as trackers. 
Now, if anybody stops to offer you a lift or otherwise attempts to engage you in conversation, what do you do? Girls. Lucy? I don't know, Lieutenant. You ignore them. Right. Now, have you got your bottles? Yes, yes Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Show me your bottles. Good. Ready? Good luck, girls. Off you go. What are you up to? Nothing. Don't look like nothing, does it, Vinny? No. I'm reading the paper, Chase. Better get on with it then, haven't you? What's that noise? It's the fall. You've upset it. Hush there, or you're for it. Off you go, then. This place is going to be swarming with kids soon. Not if you shift the trail. Leighton says there's been a car found abandoned off the road at Kelton. What, mate? Ford Pop. Let's get up there. Have you done then, boys? Yeah, for the time being. Shouldn't be too far behind, you know. I'll never sit down over there. Which way now? It was stupid coming in here. We're lost. What time is it? He stopped. Son of Alf. Oh, nothing. Except this. What's it say? I don't know. I need a decoder. Well, Blakeson might have a better idea. He's been translating Alf's scribble longer than me. Is she dead? No. She's breathing. We've got to try and keep her warm. Shouldn't one of us go for help? And then to put the bottom of another cliff. Then what? We'll light a fire. They'll come looking for us. We'll be all right.
What's up? The others are out on a paper chase. They should have been back before now. I'm getting really worried about them. We'll get in and we'll go and see if we can find them. Well, I'll tell you what, Maddie knows the route, so why doesn't she go with you and how long on here? Just in case they turn up by the See you later. OK. Well, he left the black dog at 7pm, following Dayton. Hang on. A second camp. Does this mean anything to either of you? No, such. Well, according to this, there is one. Well, maybe that's where they've taken Greengrass's horse. And a pound to a penny, that's where Ventress is, so you'd best find it. Could be anywhere, Sarge. I know that, Bellamy, and you're not going to find it sitting around here on your backsides, are you? No, Sarge. Now, the only lead we've got is the theft from Greengrass's, so I suggest you start your inquiries from there. Right, Sarge. <laughs> Come on, Maddie, back in the car. Sorry, I'm just going there, miss. Trouble? We're looking for three young girls. Have they been this way? There's been nobody come this way. If you do happen to see them, could you show them the road back to Wadensfield? If we see them. There's people nosing about. What are you going to do? We'll move. Check the copper is secure. And the horse. Is he all right? He's had a go. Haven't you, old fella? Better tighten them up. Right you are. How is that for you then, PC Ventrasol? That suits you. <laughs> I suppose that Sebastian Stokes has sent you. No. Why? Because he'd been here screaming and shouting, accusing me of nicking that tosser got him. Yeah, but you've already reported the theft. I know that. Well, I told him, you know what he's like, he wouldn't believe me, would he? What's she doing here? Phil, I hoped I'd find you here. Three of the guides are missing. They may be lost on the moor. You were due back an hour ago. Which way were they headed? False wood and back. I've been over there. There's no sign of them. Well, best hope you look for them, then. I don't suppose you saw Ralph on your travels, did you? No. We saw some tinkers. Pretty unhelpful characters. Where was that? Near Foss Wood, by the caves. That's where the trail fizzled out. That'll be the second camp, then. It's, it's a bit dangerous around the Foss, you know. Claude, you better come with me. Is she all right? She's a bit cold. Let's cuddle her. Keep her warm. All right. Oh, Inspector Allen, uh, this is Sir uh, Oscar Blaketon, Ashfordley. We have a problem, sir. Uh, one of my officers has been abducted. We need to set up some roadblocks. Thank you, sir. Just lie low until we're sure the stable lads have gone home. Be quiet. I think I, think I can hear something. I think there's somebody down there. Be, be, be careful. It's a big drop. Kathy! Lucy!
Ventress! The copper! He wasn't there! You fool! Get after him! They're bringing them out now, Sarge. One of the girls had to be brought out on a stretcher. Slight exposure for the rest. Well, I was hoping Alf might be with them. Afraid not, Sarge. to see you in one piece. I uh, just popped round to the clerk, Sarge. Yeah, I thought you might. How'd they take it? Very happy. Good. You did well. Isn't it a bit late, Sarge? Can't you come back tomorrow and finish it? No, I'd rather do it now. Get it over with. What are you going to do? Well, I'm looking at uh, one or two possibilities. Oh, yeah, going to be missed. Look, I want to get over for last order, sir. Will you join me? Not tonight, thanks. Another time, though. Right. Well, go on, then. You'll miss it. Oh, right. <laughs> Thank you, Sarge. Well, see you, then. You can count on it. Thank you. 